Are you the grill master you think you are? It's summertime, people are breaking out the barbecue, they're smoking all kinds of things, and you know, what an amazing you know, time of year, you get to enjoy some great things, but there's some pretty big downsides to this. Hi, I'm Dr. Crockett, and this is Dr. Crocker with Zeal Integrated Health, and today we're gonna to talk about some of these uh, just meats as you consume them, you know, and they've been barbecued, they've been smoked, yep. it can create just a potential cancer risk. And so we want to discuss some of the things to watch while you're out there barbecuing this summer. Yeah, specifically what we're talking about are when you char your meat, you actually can form these carcinogenic compounds called heterocyclic amines. Say that three times. Exactly. Fast. I'm going to say HSAs for the rest of this because <laughs> I'm not going to say that again. You know, what, what happens is the longer that you cook these meats, you're actually producing more HSAs. So charred meat is actually one of the worst things for you. Now there's strategies really to get around some of these things. So uh, cut your meat into smaller portions. That's gonna help them cook faster. It's gonna become less charred. Um, leaner meats are always one of the things that you can go with because that's gonna produce less fat. And when you have less fat, you're gonna have less you know, fire burn up, which creates char, less smoke things like that. But you can also flip them. Use that thing to flip those things over so they don't char as, as fast and as much. Exactly. You can marinate the meat, you can um, do some marinades and let them soak, you know, 30 minutes at least. Yeah. That will aid in that process. And then I think a big thing is just controlling temperature. A lot of the new grills out there, you can be very specific on the temperatures that you set yep. and you can reduce risk of charring uh, the meat and as you go through that cooking process. That's exactly right. You know, and if you're using a smoker, one of the things that you want to go by is when you're using a smoker, you want to use hardwoods over softwoods because those hardwoods are, hardwoods are going to burn at a lower temperature. So that's going to create less char, it's going to create less HSAs and give you a less risk of carcinogenic compounds. Yeah, a lot of people think about the type of flavor they want from that wood as they're smoking, but yep. they don't think about maybe that type of cancer risk Ex when they're picking a type of wood. Exactly. Yeah. We talked a little bit earlier about you know using leaner meats. You know, so some of the things that you want to look for, not only in your meats, is just you know if you're going to do chicken, make sure that it's hormone antibiotic free. If you're going to do turkey, you want to make sure it's nitrate nitrite free. Uh, fresh fresh cut fish is always the best. Um, if you're going to do things like that. So those are just a few things that you can do really to come up with some better options for meat. And I would say, like, think about how you're seasoning things as well. You know, just some of the, the things that you might pull out of your cabinet, you know, look at the ingredient list. There's going to be things in here that are not healthy. You know, a lot of times it's, it's easy to just put things like, you know, just some salt and some yep. pepper, garlic, you know, some really basic herbs and spices yep. and there's no risk. But you start looking at some of these products that are out on the shelf and they're going to have things that increase the shelf life. And unfortunately, that's not necessarily good for you. No. So hopefully this helps you enjoy the summer and some of the barbecuing and smoking that you might be doing. And remember to share, like and subscribe below.